want to see what I got for Christmas. Oh! I love Disney movies, and my favorite is Beauty and the Beast. But me and my English major friends found quite a few plot holes in our favorite movie, and then we tried to fill them. Number one, how long has the beast been cursed? This one was actually easy to solve because in the beginning the narrator tells us that the rose is going to bloom until his 21st year and then it's gonna die and he's gonna be a beast forever. That leaves the question, how old was he when he was actually cursed? Now in the song Be Our Guest, Lumiere tells us that 10 years we've been rusting, needing so much more than dusting. So the entire castle has been cursed for 10 years. So I'm going to say that the prince was 11 when he was cursed and he's 21 at the end. Here's a problem with that theory. It's that Chip is is obviously less than 10 years old. The beast is the only biological creature in the entire castle, so he is the only one that actually ages. All the others are inanimate. They do not age, they do not have flesh. So that's pretty simple. The beast aged 10 years while all the other ones stayed the same exact age they were when they were cursed in the beginning. For those of you that disagree with this theory, there's always the stock answer of Disney magic. But for our case, it is an unacceptable answer. Number two, the torn picture hanging in the West Wing. In the beginning sequence, the beast is shown tearing a self-portrait. This is a problem because that self-portrait looks exactly like the prince as he looks in the end when he is 21 years old, not as an 11 year old. This is another problem we have with the first question of how old was the beast when he was transformed. So how did this happen? Because 11 year olds do not look like 21 year olds. Explaining this takes some creative liberties. So what if the enchantress had a personality and she knew what the prince would end up as if she did not give him this test? So she gave him a picture of who he might be if he succeeded in his test. Maybe? Or Disney magic. Number three. How long was Belle at the castle? This is another complicated answer because the movie is not clear at all about how long she was there. Originally we started with a couple months because the seasons appear to change. In the beginning opening song there are pumpkins and it's fall. Later she gets to the castle and then it snows during the wolf chase scene and then the snow melts by the time Gaston uh, comes to the castle. So it could be an entire season change, like if we went through an entire winter. Let's go over the timeline. Belle's father Maurice goes on his little trip, gets trapped in the castle, the horse runs back, finds Belle, they go off to go find her father, she changes places with him, Maurice goes back to the town and goes into the tavern. At the same time, Belle gets locked in her room, refuses to come to dinner, goes out of her room that night to go to the Be Our Guest song, and then she goes on a tour around the castle, goes into the West Wing like she's told not to do, and then she gets run out, uh, chased by wolves, the beast comes, saves her, she helps the beast back to the castle somehow, how is she supposed to carry him, put him onto the horse? That's another problem. So they get back to the castle, she tends to his wounds, 24 hours. That's a lot of plot in a little amount of time. How long do you think Maurice could survive with limited shelter and limited food in a wintry forest? Not very long. So if we go with the typical Disney formula of a three-day plot, it kind of makes more sense. And Belle does have, I think, three outfits. And you know, I personally don't know the weather in France, so for all I know, that's typical for it to be fall, snow, then rain, and washes all the snow away. And then there's the other answer of Disney magic. Number four, the beast's past. Parents, siblings, distant cousins, anyone? Does he have anyone other than the servants? How did he get in this position? We don't know. I mean, we know that Disney likes to kill off parents. That is a typical plot for them. So obviously this means that the prince had a lot of control in his life at a very young age, which could account for his stubbornness, his spoiled bratness, and for the fact that he can't read. We just feel uncomfortable with the whole, why doesn't anybody notice that this castle that is assumedly ruling over a town or a village, maybe Belle's village, is suddenly out of commission. Didn't that prince live there once? If he doesn't rule over anybody that would notice him being gone, then what is he a prince of? That's a good question. So maybe the people that he was ruling over as a prince are also under the enchantment somehow to forget that there was a prince. That's a definite possibility. And then there's the good old stock answer of Disney magic. I don't like Disney magic as an answer, but we're driven to it by lack of details. And this is understandable because this is a kid's movie. And obviously because this is not a historical event. 